Hey coach, welcome back to the channel. If you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to stay up to date with all the latest content that we're putting out. At this point, we've got success coaches in our program who are releasing content every 24 hours to help you to grow and scale what you do and to help you with your with your business, right? Now, if you want to get in contact with me to talk about your training business more specifically, then there's two ways you can do that. If you visit the description of this video, there will be a link to my Calendly calendar. So you can book a free 15 minute call there with me. We jump on Zoom, see where you are with your business, see where you want to get to and see if I can answer any questions that you might have. Now, if you don't want to do that and you just want to send me a direct message, then what I do is every single day I check my emails and I respond to coaches. I connect with coaches in this industry. So you can send me an email to make money coaching sports at gmail.com. Right. Those are the two ways you can get in contact with me to get more help with your coaching business. Right. So today I want to talk about how to get to 100K per year with your soccer coaching business. Now, if you look back on our previous videos, we released a video of one of our clients. Her name is Misha. She recently achieved a massive goal with a business, which was to get to 100K per year. Now, a lot of coaches watching this will be thinking that is crazy. There's no way you can do that. Uh, it's impossible. But the truth is, it is possible. We've done it over and over again with coaches. Uh, we've seen coaches even double that. So it is possible. And what I would recommend is go and watch uh, the, the last interview I made where I got Misha onto our podcast, did a short interview with her, asked her some questions, and she opened up and shared how she got to 100K per year with her coaching business. So you can take all the principles that she's shared, you can transfer them into whichever sport or training business you have, and I can guarantee you it works, right? She's been in our program for, for a while now, okay, and she's implemented, she's worked hard, and she's got great results, and I'm confident that she's just going to continue to grow and prosper, uh, and she's going to get her business to the next level, hopefully within the next 12 months. So I want to share with you... What are three things that uh, Coach Misha did in order to, to get to that 100K mark? And what things you can do and implement into your soccer training business to get to that goal? Okay, now, again, this, this goal is not impossible at all, right? What it requires, it requires discipline, it requires systems, it requires persistence, it requires learning how to sell, how to market but it's not impossible, okay? We've seen it over and over again with coaches who have joined our business coaching program. We've worked with them, we've helped them to get there, and they've got great results uh, in the process, right? So the first thing you need in order to get to 100K, you need to have good systems in place. So what do I mean by good systems? Good systems means there needs to be a system in place to close clients and to bring in leads into the business, right? So you need to have a good marketing system in place. This might be through social media. This might be through referrals. This might be through email marketing. This might be through word of mouth. This might be you going to local schools, local organizations, talking to people, right? You need to have a good, consistent marketing system in place so that you're driving leads into your, your business, who are then being converted into clients, right? So the first one is you have to have a good marketing system in place, right? You also need to have a good uh, structure. So you, your business needs to be structured in a way that clients are committing long-term, right? If clients are just dropping in random sessions, then essentially that's not going to work in the long-term, right? Your clients need to be committed to for at least three, six, nine or 12 months so that they can get consistent results with you uh, while they're training with you, right? So you need a good marketing system, you need a good uh, business structure, and the third one is a good payment system, right? How are parents paying you, 
Are they paying you cash? Are they paying you online? Okay, the one we teach coaches to create, the one that we teach coaches to implement is to make sure they have everything online, right? We try and uh, push coaches away from the cash model, okay, because it doesn't work and we get them to get their play, their players, their clients to, to commit to making all payments online. Okay, and essentially when you have a system like that in place, you can create a month to month subscription where parents are paying you on a monthly basis for the training. Okay, so number one is you have to have good systems in place with your business, right? If you haven't got systems, then ultimately your business isn't going to grow. It's not going to excel and you're not really going to get anywhere with it. Right. The second one is your clients have to admire you and look up to you. OK, now I speak to coaches every single day. Right. And if I'm not getting on Zoom calls, I'm connecting through Instagram. I'm connecting through YouTube. I'm connecting through uh, email. I'm connecting through WhatsApp. You know, I'm constantly speaking to coaches. Right. At this point, I've spoken probably to over a thousand coaches in this last year alone okay and something i see and something a lot of them struggle with is getting respect from the clients they work with okay now when you don't have respect from your clients your clients aren't going to stick around for long okay so what that means is to get respect you need to be the authority you need to have term, terms and conditions in place so that if there's misbehavior if there's a you know a lack of concentration in training you know or if there's a disruptive child okay you can go back to the parents and say listen you guys signed a contract with us your child has been misbehaving they've been disrupting the session i'm i'm afraid we can't keep them in the program so what you want to do is essentially you don't want to work with every single person you want to work with certain clients who are committed to your program, to your training, and look up to you. Okay, so you need to have respect. You need to teach your players discipline. Okay, and you need to teach your, your players, right, how to build a good relationship with you, right? What are the expectations? Once they get to the training session, what do you expect from them? Once they get to the training session, are they giving 100%, are they giving 50%, right? You have to make sure that you set really high standards with the athletes, the clients that you're working with so that they can look up to you, admire you, and then ultimately, if they have respect for you, there's no other place they're going to go to, okay? So what I see with a lot of coaches is they don't get this, this, this part of the business, right? They just want to make money, Get that quick buck and just move on to another other client. OK, and ultimately what happens is you those types of coaches don't build really good relationships and it's more relationship built upon uh, just bringing bringing clients in to make money rather than keeping that 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 client in for the long term. OK, now in my training business currently, I've got clients that have been with me for four years. OK, and I say that really proudly because it's something that's not very common. I speak to coaches every single day in this industry. I'm connecting, speaking to them. And, and one question I always ask is, how long have your clients been with you? A lot of coaches say three, four, five, six months. But very rarely do coaches say a year, a year and a half, two years or four years. Okay, so if you can get your clients committed for four years, imagine the amount of investment they've made into you and your company. Okay, but that only happens if you build respect, you help them to in improve their confidence. Okay, they admire you for what you do. They feel good around you. You've built a great relationship with them, and ultimately, you're getting you're getting you're helping them in any problems that that they they are they having right you're solving their problem okay and this brings me on to my third point which is to get to 100k per year not only do you need to have a great relationship with your clients so that your clients stay with you for the long term 
but you also need to produce real results with them so they are getting better and they don't want to leave you okay something coaches struggle with and coaches forget to do is they forget to to create a client journey right so where was that client at when they first joined you how has that client progressed with your with your training and what's the end result we got with that client right so you might have had a client that comes to you and they're not getting enough playing time within their team Okay, this is where they were at the beginning. This is what we've done to help them get there. And as a result of our training, our coaching, little Johnny has now become a first team player in on their soccer team. Okay, so you need to make sure that you you, you show people, okay, you, you show people the journey that your clients are having within your company. Where were they at the beginning, how they've grown and where they've got to. And once you show results, then ultimately it's very easy to attract new clients because parents, when they do research on what you do, they're going to have a look and see, right, this coach has worked with this player. This coach has worked with this player. Let's see the results they've got. Okay, amazing. They've got this result. They've got this result. They've got this result. Okay. And once you get those results with clients, you can you can then expose that results onto social media onto website onto email marketing um that is then used as proof that what you do works okay and that's essentially what you need to do you need to build up a profile of success that you've had with your clients so that you build a good reputation and you become credible to any parent that lands on your website lands on your social media page or is reading your your emails and they haven't yet committed to your program okay so hopefully this video has helped if you have any questions for me make sure you reach out all right like i said we help coaches every single day to reach this 100k per year it's not easy but we've seen great results already with coaches in multiple sports we've helped it we've, we've helped coaches in soccer achieve it we've helped coaches in basketball we've helped coaches in baseball okay we've helped coaches in multiple sports to reach that 100k per year so that they can expand grow bring on new staff and just just take their business to the next level okay so this is something you want more help with make sure you get in contact with me two ways to do that description of this video you'll find my calendar link you can book a free 15 to 20 minute call there or you can send me a direct email to make money coaching sports at gmail.com. Okay, thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one.